Avoid apples if you have these health problems. Apples have long been celebrated as a nutritious food, but are they really suitable for everyone? If you eat apples frequently and have certain health problems, you need to watch this video until the end before it's too late. 1. Acid Reflux Mary, a 65-year-old retiree from Canada, loved snacking on apples every afternoon. However, she noticed that her acid reflux symptoms worsened each time she indulged in her favorite fruit. A study published in the journal Gastroenterology found that apples can trigger acid reflux symptoms due to their high acid content. If you suffer from acid reflux, consider reducing your apple intake and monitoring your symptoms. I sincerely ask you to watch the video until the end, because at the end, we will give you some amazing tips tips on how to safely consume apples to improve your health. 2. Gastroesophageal Reflux Disease GRD. John, a 70-year-old from the UK, was diagnosed with GERD. His nutritionist advised him to avoid acidic foods, including apples, which were contributing to his discomfort. Research from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition highlights that acidic fruits like apples can exacerbate GERD symptoms. Individuals with GRD should avoid apples to prevent worsening their condition. To confirm that everything we share on this channel is science-based, we will leave all the scientific studies in the description below this video. 3. Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS. Linda, a 62-year-old from the USA, found that her IBS symptoms flared up whenever she ate apples. Her nutritionist suggested eliminating them from her diet to see if her symptoms improved. A study in Gut Journal indicates that apples contain fermentable sugars that can trigger IBS symptoms. People with IBS might want to avoid apples to minimize gastrointestinal distress. 4. Kidney Stones George, 68, from Canada, suffered from recurrent kidney stones. His nutritionist informed him that apples could contribute to oxalate buildup, a primary component of kidney stones. The Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology found a link between high oxalate foods like apples and the formation of kidney stones. If you're prone to kidney stones, limiting apple consumption could help reduce your risk. Five, fructose intolerance. Emma, a 64-year-old from the UK, experienced severe bloating and discomfort after eating apples. Her nutritionist diagnosed her with fructose intolerance and recommended avoiding apples. Research published in Digestive Diseases and Sciences shows that apples contain high levels of fructose, which can cause problems for those with fructose intolerance. Avoiding apples can help manage symptoms of fructose intolerance. 6. Diabetes Tom, a 70-year-old diabetic from the USA, struggled to control his blood sugar levels. His nutritionist advised him to limit his intake of apples due to their high sugar content. A study in Diabetes Care found that fruits with a high glycemic index, like apples, can cause blood sugar spikes in diabetics. Diabetics should monitor their apple intake to maintain stable blood sugar levels. 7. Oral Allergy Syndrome Helen, 63, from Canada, experienced itching and swelling in her mouth after eating apples. Her nutritionist diagnosed her with oral allergy syndrome, a condition linked to pollen allergies. The Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology reports that people with pollen allergies may react to proteins found in apples. If you have pollen allergies, be cautious with apple consumption. 8. Rosacea Paul, a 66-year-old from the UK, noticed his rosacea flare-ups worsened after eating apples. His nutritionist suggested eliminating apples from his diet. A study in the Journal of Clinical and Aesthetic Dermatology found that certain foods, including apples, can trigger rosacea symptoms. Avoiding apples might help manage rosacea flare-ups. Remember that at the end of the video, we will give you some amazing tips on how to safely consume apples to improve your health. 9. Migraine 
Jane 68 from the USA realized that apples were a trigger for her migraines. Her nutritionist recommended avoiding them to reduce the frequency of her headaches. Research in the Journal of Headache and Pain indicates that apples can trigger migraines in susceptible individuals. Migraine sufferers should consider avoiding apples to prevent attacks. 10. Allergic Reactions David, 65, from Canada, experienced hives and itching after eating apples. His nutritionist confirmed he had an apple allergy. The Annals of Allergy, Asthma and Immunology reports that some individuals have a specific allergy to apples. If you're allergic to apples, it's best to avoid them entirely. 11. Constipation Anna, 70, from the UK thought apples would help with her constipation, but they actually made it worse. Her nutritionist explained that the pectin in apples could contribute to her problem. A study in nutrition research found that pectin in apples can sometimes worsen constipation in certain individuals. If you suffer from constipation, reducing apple intake might be beneficial. 12. Weight gain. Mark 66 from the USA was trying to lose weight but found it challenging while eating apples regularly. His nutritionist advised him to limit apples due to their sugar content. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition suggests that high sugar fruits like apples can contribute to weight gain if consumed in large quantities. To aid weight loss, consider moderating your apple intake. 13. Asthma. Susan, 68, from Canada, experienced worsened asthma symptoms after eating apples. Her nutritionist advised avoiding them to see if her breathing improved. Research in the European Respiratory Journal found that certain compounds in apples can exacerbate asthma symptoms in some individuals. If you have asthma, it might be wise to avoid apples. 14. Tooth Decay Henry, 65, from the UK, noticed his dental health deteriorating despite regular brushing. His nutritionist pointed out that the natural sugars and acids in apples could be the culprit. The Journal of Dentistry found that frequent apple consumption can lead to tooth decay due to their acidity and sugar content. To protect your teeth, consider reducing apple consumption. 15. Diarrhea. Lisa, 70, from the USA, experienced frequent diarrhea after eating apples. Her nutritionist suggested that the high fiber content might be the cause. A study in gastroenterology highlighted that the fiber in apples can cause diarrhea in some individuals. If you suffer from diarrhea, you might need to cut back on apples. 16. Eczema. Michael, 67, from Canada, found his eczema flared up after eating apples. His nutritionist recommended avoiding apples to see if his skin condition improved. Research in the Journal of Dermatological Science indicates that certain foods, including apples, can trigger eczema flare-ups. Avoiding apples might help manage eczema symptoms. 17. Heartburn Rachel, 65, from the UK, suffered from chronic heartburn. Her nutritionist advised her to avoid apples, which were exacerbating her condition. A study in Alimentary Pharmacology and Therapeutics found that acidic foods like apples can trigger heartburn. If you have heartburn, limiting apple intake could provide relief. 18. Gout James, 68, from the USA, experienced gout flare-ups after eating apples. His nutritionist explained that the fructose in apples could be contributing to his condition. The Arthritis and Rheumatology Journal found a link between fructose consumption and increased uric acid levels, which can trigger gout. If you have gout, avoiding apples might help prevent flare-ups. 19. Allergic Asthma Karen, 66, from Canada, found her allergic asthma worsened after eating apples. Her nutritionist advised her to avoid apples and monitor her symptoms. A study in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology suggests that apples can trigger allergic asthma in some individuals. Avoiding apples might help manage allergic asthma symptoms. 20. Celiac Disease 
Peter, 70, from the UK with celiac disease, experienced digestive issues after eating apples. His nutritionist suggested that certain compounds in apples might be irritating his gut. Research in the World Journal of Gastroenterology found that some individuals with celiac disease might react to certain compounds in apples. If you have celiac disease, consider reducing your apple intake to see if your symptoms improve. Now I'm going to show you the best tips on how to safely consume apples to improve your health. Without this information, watching the video up to this point wouldn't make sense. So pay close attention. While apples can pose risks for certain individuals, they can still be enjoyed safely by most people. Here are 10 tips on how to consume apples without the health risks. Moderation. Limit apple consumption to avoid overloading on fructose and acidic content. Pair with protein. Eat apples with a protein source to balance blood sugar levels. Peel the apple. Removing the skin can reduce the intake of fibers and compounds that may trigger allergies or digestive issues. Choose low acid varieties. Opt for apples that are less acidic, such as Golden Delicious or Fuji. Cooked apples. Cooking apples can reduce their acidic and allergenic properties. Monitor symptoms. Keep track of how your body reacts to apples and adjust your intake accordingly. Hydration. Drink plenty of water to help dilute the acidic effects of apples on your stomach and teeth. Combine with other foods. Pair apples with other non-acidic fruits to balance their impact. Consult a nutritionist. Seek professional advice to tailor apple consumption to your specific health needs. Experiment with portions. Start with small portions of apples and gradually increase to find a safe and comfortable amount for your body. While apples are generally considered healthy, they can pose risks for individuals with certain health conditions. It's important to be aware of these potential issues and consult with a nutritionist before making significant changes to your diet. By understanding how apples can affect your health and taking steps to mitigate risks, you can enjoy the benefits of this popular fruit while avoiding its potential drawbacks. Stay informed and make choices that support your well-being. If you want to learn more about foods that appear to be 100% healthy but actually have side effects or health risks in some way, I have prepared this video especially for you. Click here to watch.